The Mysteries of Harris Burdick, written and illustrated by Chris Van Ellsberg. I first saw the drawings in this book a year ago in the home of a man named Mr. Peter Winders. Though Mr. Winders is retired now, he once worked for a children's book publisher, choosing the stories and pictures that would be turned into books. Thirty years ago, a man called at Peter Winders' office, introducing himself as Harris Burdick. Mr. Burdick explained that he had written fourteen stories and had drawn many pictures for each one. He'd brought with him just one drawing for each story to see if Winders liked his work. Peter Winders was fascinated by the drawings. He told Burdick he would like to read the stories that went with them as soon as possible. The artist agreed to bring the stories the next morning. He left the fourteen drawings with Winders, but he did not return the next day or the day after that. Harris Burdick was never heard from again. Over the years, Winders tried to find out who Burdick was and what happened to him, but he discovered nothing. To this day, Harris Burdick remains a complete mystery. His disappearance is not the only mystery left behind. What were the stories that went with these drawings? There are some clues. Burdick had written a title and caption for each picture. When I told Peter Winders how difficult it was to look at the drawings and their captions without imagining the story, he smiled and left the room. He returned with a dust-covered cardboard box. Inside were dozens of stories, all inspired by the Burdick drawings. They'd been written years ago by Winders' children and their friends. I spent the rest of my visit reading these stories. They were remarkable, some bizarre, some Archie Smith, Boy Wonder, a tiny voice asked, Is he the one? Under the rug, two weeks pass and it happened again. A strange day in July, he threw with all his might, but the third stone came skipping back. Missing in Venice, even with her mighty engines in reverse, the ocean liner was pulled further and further into the canal. Another place, another time. If there was an answer, he'd find it there. Invited guests. His heart was pounding. He was sure he had seen the doorknob turn. The harp. So it's true, he thought. It's really true. Mr. Linden's library. He had warned her about the book. Now it was too late. Seven chairs. The fifth one ended up in France. The third floor bedroom. It all began when someone left the window open. Just dessert. She lowered the knife and it grew even brighter. Captain Tory. He swung his lantern three times and slowly the schooner appeared. Oscar and Alphonse. She knew it was time to send them back. The caterpillar softly wiggled in her hand, spelling out goodbye. The house on Maple Street. It was a perfect liftoff.